Would you like to crack the most brain teasing data structure interviews to land in your dream company? Then you are at the right place. This top 10 most frequently asked data structures and algorithm based interview questions will keep you on a safer side while attending the interviews of your dream company. So please stick till the end of this video while we give away answers to that one important programming question that is the most frequently asked in software development interviews. Data structures play a vital role in the field of software development. Every interview will have questions on data structures and algorithms. They have become essential to crack every software engineer to get hired by the top tech companies. Hey guys, welcome to Simply Learn. Today, we will be learning the top 10 DSA question and answers. And while we are at it, please leave us a like if you find our content helpful and a sub to the channel would be appreciated. So without any further delay, let's get started. And the top 10th question is, what is data structure? A data structure is a collection of data used to store or organize in an efficient manner to access it effectively. In short, it deals with how the data is organized in the memory. Next, the top ninth question is, what is the classification of data structure? Data structure is classified into linear and nonlinear, whereas linear data structure is further classified into a static and dynamic data structure. So now, let's look at a complete classification of a data structure. The data structures are classified into linear and nonlinear, in which nonlinear data structure consists of tree and graph. A linear data structure is divided into arrays, queues, stack, and linked list. So, what do you mean by static and dynamic data structure? The memory of a static data structure is fixed in size, which means the memory is allocated during the compile time. Arrays are the example of a static data structure. And in the case of dynamic data structure, the memory is allocated during the runtime. Queues, stack, and linked list are the example of a dynamic data structure. The top eighth question is, what are the applications of data structure? The first application is graphics that helps to represent the data visually. Then, data structures are used in artificial intelligence, which is a man-made machine to perform a certain task. Next. Data structures are used in creating operating systems, such as Microsoft Windows, Unix operating system, etc. Then, compiler design, which is used to compile the computer programs or translates the source code into machine code. Next, image processing. It is used to perform operations on the image or to get any kind of information from a particular image. Later, numerical and statistical analysis. Numerical analysis is used to refer to the numerical facts, whereas statistical analysis refers to analyzing and presenting the data. And finally, database management. It is used to store and retrieve the data from a computer. Top 7th question is, what is a stack and explain the operations performed on a stack? Stack is a linear data structure. The items in a stack are stored in the order of first in last out or last in first out. So here let's consider an example where we have stack of books. So suppose students were asked to keep books for the corrections one after the other. Then each one of them would keep the books on top of the other book. Therefore, in the same way, items are inserted into the stack. Another example could be a stack of clothes. Operations like insertion and deletion of an item are possible only from the one end of the stack, that is on top of the stack. Now let's have a look at the operations performed on a stack. Push operation is to insert the item into the stack, whereas pop is used to delete or remove the item from the stack. And top will return the top item of a stack. Is empty returns the true if the stack is empty, else it will return false. Size operation is used to return the size of a stack. Next, top sixth question is, what is sorting and mention the types of sorting algorithms in C. Sorting is the process of arranging the data in some particular order to access the data efficiently. And the sorting algorithms are insertion sort, selection sort, bubble sort, counting sort, radix sort, quick sort, and merge sort. A programmer can use any of the following sorting algorithms to arrange the data either in ascending or descending order. Therefore, sorting reduces the complexity of the problem. 
The next top fifth question is what is a linked list and what are the different types of a linked list? A linked list is a linear data structure consisting of nodes where each node is divided into two parts, data and address. Every node in a linked list is linked together. The different types of linked list are singly linked list, doubly linked list and circular linked list. A singly linked list is a collection of data called nodes where each node is divided into two parts to store data and address. Every node in a linked list is connected with the other through a pointer that points to the address of the next node. A special node called the head node holds the address of the first node and the last node points to the null. And a doubly linked list is a complex compared to a singly linked list. Each node is divided into three parts to store data and the addresses of the previous and next node. In a doubly linked list, the first node previous and last node next pointer points to null indicating no nodes before or after it. It is easy to access elements in the Dublin linked list since it consists of two pointers to travel from forward and backward direction. Circular linked list in C programming performs a reverse traversal with less memory uses than a Dublin linked list. A circular linked list is a collection of data called nodes where the last node links to the first node. The top fourth question is write a program to convert an infix expression to a postfix expression. So as you can see, this program is to convert an infix expression to a postfix expression. So we have a pop, priority and push function which are declared. And then we are declaring stack of size 50 and top initially is equal to minus 1. Then going back to function, push is used to insert an item into the stack. So n is assigned to stack of plus plus top and pop is to remove or delete an item. So if top is equal equal to minus 1, then return minus 1. That means top is empty. Else return stack of top minus minus. That means decrementing the top by minus 1. Then coming to priority function, checks the condition if x is equal to open parenthesis, then return 0. If x is equal to plus or minus, then return 1. If x is equal to into or divide by, then return 2. That means the priority of plus and minus are same and into and divide by are same. Then going to main function. Here we have the expression of size 100 and then the pointer variable exp. Then asking to enter the expression to perform infix to postfix. Once you enter, the expression is assigned to exp. So while exp not equal to null, then checks the condition. So if e is al num of expression, that means if the expression is alphanumerical, then print the expression. Else if prints the character and else if expression is equal to open parenthesis then push to x calling the push function then else if expression is equal to closing parenthesis while n is equal to pop not equal to closing parenthesis print character else while priority of stack of top is greater or equal to priority of expression then pops the character and push to the expression and incrementing the expression by one while top not equal to minus 1, then pop. That means if stack is not empty, then pop out the character. Return 0. So let's try to execute it. Enter the expression. So let's enter a plus b of c into d. And we got the output. The code that I am executing in this session and the question and answers that we will be discussing will be attached in the description box below. So you can have a look at it and execute the code for a better understanding. And if you face any issues while executing the programs, then please let us know in the comment section below and our team of experts will be happier to resolve all your queries at the earliest. Top third question is, what is a binary search tree and explain its properties? A binary tree is a complete tree in which every node is built except the last level. Nodes in a binary tree are added from left to right. Topmost node is a root node of a tree and the subtree consists of a parent node and a child node. The properties of a binary search tree are the left subtree of a node contains only nodes with a key element less than the root node's key, whereas the right subtree of a node contains the node with key elements greater than the root node's key. The top second question is what is a graph data structure in C? A graph is a non-linear data structure. It is a collection of a finite set of nodes called points, connected through edges called lines, 
has shown in the below diagram. Just to represent networks such as telephone networks, circuit networks, and social networks, etc. So our first question is how to implement a program to find the height of a binary tree. So as you can see, this is a program to find the height of a binary tree, which means finding the levels of a binary tree. So first we have a data variable and we have a pointer to left child and right child. And then coming to height function, if node is equal equal to null, then return zero. Else, the height of node's left child is assigned to left height and the height of node's right child is assigned to right height. So if left height is greater than right height, then return left height plus one, else return right height plus one. And then creating the new node and allocating memory for it using mlock function and then assigning data. So assigning data for a node's data. And initially the node's left child and right child is assigned to null and return node. And coming to main function, we are assigning values to every node. So root node is having the value 10 and root's left child is equal to 15 Roots right child is equal to 20 and roots left child's left child is equal to 25 and roots left child's right child is equal to 30 and print the height of a binary tree. So let's execute it. So as you can see, we got the output. The height of a binary tree is 3. So with this, we have come to the end of this session on the top 10 DSA question and answers. I hope this session was informative and interesting. So if you have any queries regarding any of the topics covered in this session, then please feel free to let us know in the comment section below and our team of experts will be happy to resolve all your queries at the earliest. Until next time, this is Sanya from the Simply Learns team signing off. Thank you, stay safe and keep learning. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.